In this tutorial, we'll discuss how to create a wind chime in Blender. We'll use rigid body physics and rigid body constraints to create this model. So let's start with the default scene in Blender. First, we have to remove this default cube, then go to the Add menu and add a cylinder object. We can reduce its thickness, maybe to 0.1, and we'll get a narrow pipe, which is suitable for our wind chime. Now let's go to the edit mode, because we want to remove this top and the bottom surface of the cylinder to make it a hollow pipe. So we'll first select them together with a shift key, and then hit X to delete the selected faces. Now let's also move the origin point to the top surface, so we have to first select all the vertices at the top end. Then from the mesh menu, let's snap the 3D cursor to the center of these points, then back to the object mode, we can set its origin to this 3D cursor from here. Let's hide the 3D cursor for the time being, and we can see that the origin is moved to this point. We can also enable the Shade Smooth option to get a smooth pipe and a hollow pipe ready. We want this pipe to be suspended from some point like this, so let's again go to the Add menu, and this time we'll add a sphere. Let's make it smaller in size, and we need to also move it upward to place it somewhere here. In the next step, we have to enable rigid body physics for these objects, so go to the Physics tab and enable rigid body physics. This should be a passive type rigid body, because this sphere won't move from its place, but the pipe of the wind chime will move, so it will be an active type rigid body. And we can change the mass of the pipe to say 0.1 or 100 gram. We can also enable some bounciness in the surface response, it will create better collisions. Now we have to connect these two objects through a rigid body constraint, so select them together, and then connect them using this connect option. It will place an empty in between the two objects, and it will also add a rigid body constraint. We have to change this constraint type to point so that the cylinder can rotate freely around the sphere without any translation or linear movements. We can also move up the empty object so that the center of rotation for the pipe coincides with this sphere. And we need to also add some turbulent wind force into this scene that will move the cylinder. So from the force fields, let's add a wind force. We need to rotate it by 90 degrees to make it horizontal, and we can change its strength from here. Let's make it maybe 10, and if we run this, we'll see that the cylinder is affected by the wind, and it's suspended from here, but this movement is completely unidirectional. So instead of using a constant value, we'll keyframe this strength field, and then open the graph editor from here. It shows the strength field that we have keyframed. Now in a modifiers tab, we'll add a noise modifier for this field. Let's then change the strength of this noise to say 40, so that we get a meaningful bounce on both sides of this center line. And let's also increase the scale factor to 100, that makes the graph more relaxed, which is suitable for a noisy wind force. Now back to the viewport, we'll also add a turbulence force field. In addition to the wind, it will create a random effect instead of a simple wind force. So go to the Add menu, and from the force fields, let's add a turbulence field. We can also change its strength and other things like before. Let's test it with a value like 50. This time, we'll see that the pipe is swinging freely in all the directions, as the turbulence is creating a random wind force. So we have the basic backbone ready for our wind chime, we can reduce the size of this sphere further, to make it like a point mesh. Now we have to copy this whole set, and create four such pipes hanging in the air, to create a wind chime. So here are the four sets, and we kept them under four different collections. Each set has its own empties and rigid body constraints, and we have also added these two plates to complete our design. But if we play it, we can see that the cylinders are drifting away from the center. That is because the strength of this turbulence force is too high, we can reduce it to 10. Now if we run it, it will look better, and just perfect for a wind chime. So we're almost done with this, we can add more dimensions to this wind chime to make it more realistic, like we can enable a similar setup also for these two plates, so that they also respond to the wind force like the hanging pipes. So this is our final setup, we have added rigid body constraints to these plates as well. Now if we play it, each and every component of this wind chime will respond together to the wind force. And if you are a member of this channel, you can also download the original blend file of this composition. The link is given below in the video description. Now we'll see how to create a string like this. We have created the string using this geometry node. You have to pick up two objects in these two object info nodes in order to create a dynamic string between those objects. Now you can add some suitable materials and you are ready to render the scene. We have used cycles to render this composition, and I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.